What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I just finished some upgrades on my Mod Pod 2 hatch and I figured I'd share them with you guys. Check it out. All right, so if you're new to my channel, uh, I'll put a link somewhere in here and at the end of the video of me actually installing this Mod Pod 2. I did a full video on it, where I got it, what boats it'll fit, uh, things like that. This video today is just going to be quick on a few upgrades that I've recently done for the 2019 season. I think they're pretty cool, so I kind of want to share them with you guys. Uh, I'm going to take you guys off the tripod and walk you around and show you all the upgrades I've just done. And I'm sorry about the light in here. I'm in the garage and it's kind of dark. Hopefully it'll light up. It'll be a little bit lighter once I get you down into the boat. Here is the Mod Pod 2. Um, before I get started on the add-ons I've done, I want to make sure you guys see the trolling motor that I'm building right now. It will go up and down. It will fold forward. It's lightweight, single bolt on. You don't need all these extra add-on parts. Uh, I'm waiting on a few things that I ordered, some wires, so I can get everything ran. Once it's in, I'm going to be doing a full install video on how you can make this exact trolling motor and just bolt it straight on through your rudder hole on the back of your kayak. It's lightweight. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, today's video is going to be the upgrades I've done to the Mod Pod. Here's the Mod Pod. Of course, you've seen it if you've seen my other video where I purchased it, where I got it, installed it, and everything in the other video. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Today is just upgrades I've done. And the first video... I showed you that it came with clips and the clips clipped on right in here and we modified the clips so that they will latch and that works great if you this this is designed to hinge from the back or the front however you want to do it uh, since then since I've used it I've used it for months now and I decided I wanted to completely bolt on the front so it doesn't open from the front only the back and I did that because I, I never opened it from this end anyway and I wanted uh, I wanted it to be more secure on the boat and in order to do that I just went ahead I drilled a hole lip and put a bolt on this side bolt on this side and there's a nut on the inside so the front is locked down it's got an o-ring so it seals it completely tight if you move to the front I got rid of the latches completely and I took a little bit of piece of this bungee cord which if you're gonna do this you don't have to buy any I use some of this from the cell phone case uh, the cell phone case it actually just comes out right in here But anyway, I just pulled off some extra because there was a lot here and I used it for both sides and the way you latch it is you just pull it down and Latch it right around the the screw that we made in the first video So if you're gonna do it you have to watch the first video if you want to know about these and you can also buy uh, Some sort of buttons that go there, but I just did it with a screw and a little spacer and it latches right on there No problem at all. So you got the cell phone case it latches down uh, for the very front, I made a paracord handle because I got to noticing after I got this on, there's such a good seal here and it suctions down so tight, there was really no handle to pull this thing up and down. There's no lip on it or anything like that. It's really flush. So I just drilled a couple of holes on each side and literally did like you would do a paracord bracelet and just kind of braided it right there on there and made myself a handle. But the best part of these upgrades I've done is that right there. I've got it on a short shock, and I believe I've got that shock laying in here somewhere. Uh, I ordered it on Amazon. I'll, I'll leave some links to the shock in this video also, but uh, it's really cheap. I think it was a couple dollars. You get two shocks, and it comes with all the hardware, and you can just bolt it right up. But that's one of the main reasons that I bolted the front down is so that I could put a shock on this end and it would stay up when I needed to get in there and get my you know, tackle or whatever it is I got in there. Uh, it would hold itself up and then when you shut it, it actually helps shut it too. So you shove it down, it, it actually suction cups once you push it and it seals it up very good. I'm very surprised on how good. The rubber is super thick. And for the last mod that I've recently done, I just finished it today, was I added this LED light. Let me see if I can get the camera in here. 
It's uh, an LED strip. Just got it at like O'Reilly's just for a car. I think they're like 10 bucks. But I wired it around. I had this little KC uh, switch in my junk drawer for some KC lights I put on before, and it's just a little toggle switch. But I just got it wired up to a single battery. It's actually, I'm using, you know how when you go in O'Reilly's or Walmart and they got these LED lights and you can push the button and to test it and light it up? Well, I'm actually using the same battery case that was in the test pack. Uh, I just swapped it out with a good battery and mounted it all in here so I didn't have to wire run wires to my main battery for my fish finder or anything. So it's all self-contained. If I was to accidentally leave it on, it wouldn't run my main battery down. It would just run down the little double a that i got in the box there but it lights up everything really well so early in the morning if i'm rigging up i can just reach in there turn my light on and find what i'm looking for turn it off and then shut it back down and it seals up really good latches up and i'm good to go and that's the changes that i've done to my mod pod uh, added the shock the light bolted down the front added the handle uh, the little bungee straps to keep it locked in, which even if they're not there, I've hauled this thing. It's got such good suction on it that it's not coming up. That's why you really need the handle because I'm pulling very hard right now and it's just suctioned down. But, but with the handle, it comes right up. And that is my upgrades on my Mod Pod 2. Uh, for my subscribers that are watching this, and I've been getting messages and after messages after messages about the mothership. She's still fine. She's sitting right there. I figured I'd show them to y'all. Uh, that's our kayak mothership. If you don't know what we're talking about, make sure you go check it out. I'll put the playlist link right in here. Uh, we're building a mothership to camp on shuttle kayaks back and forth wherever we want to do it. Uh, you know, if we want to go to watersheds or rivers, we can just throw the kayaks on there, strap them down, and go camp right on the right on the pontoon boat or the mothership and We'll tie off the kayaks to the side, go fishing, come back. But I haven't been able to work on it or make videos on it in the past two months, actually, since it's gotten cold, it's wet here in Alabama. So I'm trying to do projects that I can do in my garage. Hence the upgrades on the hatch and the trolling motor that I'm adding that that's gonna be, I can't wait to finish that. I think when I'm done, that trolling motor, that kayak trolling motor will be the best one on YouTube. I'm throwing that out there right now. I think when I get done, it's going to be the best and easiest one to build on YouTube. But we'll see. I just, that might just be me being cocky about it. But I'm going to end this one here. I appreciate you watching. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.